How's it going? I'm Mark Weir. I uh, ride bikes for a living. Uh, I ride for Cannondale and WTV and a whole bunch of different other sponsors. They're all great too. Um, yeah, I grew up riding bikes around in Marin County. I've been doing it. It turned into a job. Pretty stoked about it. And the other thing that I've done my whole life is RC cars. Started with my dad when I was six, building, you know, little little Tamiya cars and all these cool little things. And uh, pretty much have been doing it ever since. Burned my house down. It's done a lot of things. It's brought a lot of highs and lows. And uh, I'll never set it down. My first one was that Tamiya Fox or what it was like. The Fox had the yellow shocks. And uh, I had like Subaru Brats and like all those other Tamiyas and stuff. And uh, But my first one I built was that one. And one time I broke an arm and the parts were always hard to find back then it seemed like because the hobby shops never stock certain cars. And this thing had that mono front shock on it. Broke one of the suspension arm. My dad uh, does prosthodontics, so he always, he does facial reconstruction. He took the arm to work and drilled holes in it and then put this like stuff they make models for teeth. <laughs> and glued it all back together. And we had this whole thing glued together and I'm like, yes. And then I went and did donuts over in the dirt over there until the car lit on fire. And that was pretty much it, you know? <laughs> Mechanical speed control, just like And all of a sudden I'm like, it's on fire. You know, it was, it was classic. Well, it, I, my first RC track I built was when I was probably in sixth grade. And my neighbors, they'd be the best to interview. He was my soccer coach when I was three. He'd always go, what is he doing now? There was no fences back here, just big fields and stuff. And, uh, and I would be sitting there building and the track was so narrow. It was like this table, you know, wide. I'm like, it just needs to be this wide. Cause I was lazy, scraping grass sucks. If you ever scrape grass off a lip of a jump or something, you're like, ugh. So I built the whole thing and it totally sucked. Car couldn't make it around the track, pretty much left it. And that was then, and then it turned into, you know, moto track, bike track. We had uh, another RC track right down the road. There's three RC tracks in this neighborhood, you know, kind of like not too long ago, five years ago. And then uh, we had another one under the oak tree, and then I finally did this one. And I'm like, okay, I'm bringing in like 400 yards of dirt, just, just loading it up, building it up, trying to build a track that's, uh, the outside is the fastest line, which is always the goal. It was always cool and, you know, with like tires and all that stuff, because we designed tires for WTV. We've been doing that for, you know, 18 years. And uh, meeting you guys at AKA, there was, it was always an attachment, something that uh, I knew made 90% of the difference than anything, whether it's a bike or a car. So being a tire geek, compound geek, you know, how stiff was it? How much air pressure can you run? How long will it last worth? How much fun you get out of it? Is it better to have a harder compound, a little less grip, but you know, if everyone's yeah. running the same stuff, who cares, you know? Yeah. So yeah, RC is just, it really has always been, I mean, there's a ton of people in the mountain bike world. They just, they love RC, but they, you know, either scared to show their commitment. And uh, that's something I never have been. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and RC has that way of, of giving you that guilt. Like when you're RCing, for me sometimes, I'm like, this is so fun. Like I'm looking around, I'm like, does anyone see me? You know, like, cause I, should you have this much fun? Cause I don't know a lot of people that have that much fun, especially by themselves. And you're like, I could be doing something constructive, but you're just like, huh, this is constructive. I'm a happy person.